Uh, mic check, one, two, three. Okay, good. I'm not going through that again. I would, <laughs> I would, I would quit. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Welcome to Beatles Sunday slash Tuesday if the video is blocked. Hopefully it's up. Um, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, actually going to the White Album now. It's uh, this was a. It is a song by the Beatles from their 1968 double album, uh, The Beatles, also known as The White Album. It was written by George Harrison, and uh, it was inspired by Chinese I Ching. Uh, but Eric Clapton is also on this for an overdubbed lead guitar part, but he was not formally credited for his contribution for a long time, apparently. Um... This, the recording was one of the several collabs between Harrison and Clapton during the late 60s and was followed by them co-writing Badge, which we just did. But I don't know if it got taken down or not because they've been trying to take down all the Cream videos. They've been taking down a lot of my videos, I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe I'm getting too big time. I hope not. I like doing these videos and having a YouTube channel. I would suck if it... <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be listening to Why My Guitar Gently Weeps. Uh, off of the White Album. And then we're going to be tackling this album in full on Patreon uh, sometime. Sometime. We're going to be trying to do it sometime this month. But I can't leave y'all hanging on YouTube. and Because uh, I really appreciate all the Beatles fans that come and hang out, watch the videos, and let you know like them and stuff like that. Because I, I, I see y'all. I really do. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Alright. Enough spieling. While My Guitar Gently Weeps by The Beatles. Three, two, one, go. I've heard this progression before. That's Clapton. So simple.
like how they kind of merge the words together there. That's kind of cool. What is that in? It's not a Led Zeppelin song, is it? Or is that Aerosmith? Man. Clapton and George killed this. So that's Paul and George singing. Wow. Huh. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. That's gonna be eating at me all night what that's from. Or it's originally from this, obviously. They just borrowed it. Huh. The first half really does speak of, like, uh, unrequited love or just, you know, the what did he say at the top? The song conveys his dismay at the world's unrealized potential for universal love, which he refers to as the love there that's sleeping. Uh... <laughs> And that's funny because uh, for my entire life until I met my current uh, girlfriend who I've been with for almost four years now, um, I had been in plenty of relationships, but I kind of just got into them to get into them. Like, I, uh, unfortunately, I told them that, I, you know, I always told the girls that I love them, you know, just to make things seem formal, I guess. But I never really connected with anybody, you know, fully. I mean... There were moments where I felt like I did, but I've just always been such an island, like, my entire life that it felt weird to, I don't know, even get close to somebody, because I had been through some shit, you know, and everyone's got their traumas, you know, <laughs> uh, but that first half of the song with that riff and, like, the lead going, like, it, it, Clapton and George, when they work together, man, they're, they're amazing, like, I loved Badge, that was a great song, we did that, I think, like a week or two ago. And I love Cream. All the Cream songs we've done, insane. Ginger Baker and Eric uh, are some of my new favorite like musicians that I've discovered on here. Just like rising stars very quickly in my book. <laughs> Obviously, they uh, made their music a long time ago, but I'm new to all this. So like, I have rankings in my head and people go up and down. It's like a draft board for the NFL. You know, I don't know. I don't know why. This is how my brain works. And uh, Ginger and Eric definitely are amazing and they or not they um eric i think added a lot to this song obviously uh that lead guitar uh was fantastic but the riff it was that you know riff. i think that george was probably playing along with paul on the bass i think that's what make sure i'm not being stupid yeah so yeah the the riff that uh well also oh no it's john george oh so it was not it was john and what so it says John did electric guitar with tremolo, and then George Harrison did double-tracked vocals, backing vocal, acoustic guitar, and Hammond organ. Paul McCartney did the harmony vocal, piano, bass guitar. Ringo did uh, the drums, castanets, and tambourine, then clapped it on lead guitar. See, that makes sense. Like, I just... There's so much that goes into these songs, especially, like, the Beatles. Like, they're just so detailed. They're, like, the most documented band in history, I swear to God. And for every... They have every right to be because they are... Yeah, they're number one, man. And every song I listen to now, it's just, like, it's like, wait, the Beatles did that? You know, like, this riff. Like, I've heard that a million times before, and I, I don't know what it was, but there's a song that I used to listen to that has that exact chord progression in it. I don't know if it's... I want to say it's Aerosmith, but I, I can't really think of it. 
Um, I liked what Ringo did here too. Like Ringo um, kind of kept it simple and let the guitars do most of the work, but his um, the tambourine, the castanets, that's what really I think added like that flair to it almost, the extra percussion. The drumming was very minimal at points for most of the part, you know. Um, but there were little like just snippets of him kind of doing his thing, but it was really the tambourine and castanets that kind of reflected the sound back to it. And the bass, uh, Paul was following the lead of... Uh, of John, George, and Eric, and uh, it was fantastic. I think this was definitely a guitar crazy song, as the title so eloquently put it. Um, I don't know what else to say about these guys, though. Like They're just so great, man, and I'm so glad that you guys helped me discover them, and you're along for the ride with me, because it feels good to have people there guiding your way so you don't get lost, you know, because I know they only, you know, made a certain amount of music, but we haven't even gotten to this one yet, you know? Like, there's tons of albums we haven't even touched yet. I still have to finish Please Please Me, but after the way that, I don't know, I've been kind of sour to the album sides just because now I have people uh, requesting full albums, and that takes a lot of time. You'd you would be, you'd be surprised. It takes a lot of time to record a full album. Obviously, you have to sit there for the entire time and listen to it. Then the rendering takes forever. Then the editing, or the editing, then the rendering, then the posting. Like, the shorter videos, like this... Yeah, they don't really take that long. Um, but the longer ones, holy shit, do they take a while. So I kind of have to prioritize now. Like I have, we're doing a, and I do the album reactions after I finish all the Patreon requests of the month. So they usually happen in the second half of the month. We've got uh, Miles Davis coming. Um, we've got uh, another album. There's two other albums. I don't know if it's a Buffalo Springfield album from Joel, I think. And then... There is a album request. Um, fuck, what was it? I don't know, but there's a few albums coming the w down the pipeline. Hopefully, they don't get blocked because I started Quadrophenia by the Who, all blocked. You know, and it's just it's a blower when you put all that work into it, and then you just you know doesn't go. I mean, it works on Patreon, and technically, I should be happy because I could be like, oh, I can just make people you know come to Patreon for this. But I don't really think like that. I. I I should think more like that, but I don't. I, I'd, I'd rather share it with people and just give it to y'all. Like, you know, I'd, <laughs> I hate paywalls myself, so I, I'm so empathetic. I put myself in other people's shoes. I'm like, damn, I, you know, and I, I just try to do what I can, you know, for y'all. And I really appreciate how um, supportive and how kind and how just gracious you guys are. I literally couldn't ask for a better um, group of people here and I, I really appreciate you hopefully y'all enjoyed that video i know we've been doing beatles videos but i thought we would do this song because somebody said that this is like a famous song and now i see why because that yeah that chord progression and that riff is just famous as hell so thank you for that for whoever suggested that i appreciate you now sometime within this month i'll try maybe i'll just devote a beatles sunday and not do one on youtube and i'll start the white album or finish Please, please me and then the White Album. Damn, there's so much to do. Such little time. But thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for joining another Beatles Sunday. I will see y'all next week, hopefully. Or Beatles Tuesday. Whatever works out, you know. Um, hopefully it's on Sunday. Thank you for watching. This is a Patreon. That's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one for your request a month. And you can pick the next Beatles video if you want to. Um, or you can pick any video. I don't care. It could be anybody. Um, good music wanted. That's what my tagline on Patreon is, and that's what I feel. Just good music. I don't care what genre, what era. It could be from yesterday. It could be from 1892. I don't care, as long as it's good. Um, if you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of those blocked videos, all those blocked albums. We just did We just did Blind Faith. We just did Side 1 and Quadrophenia. There's tons of Jethro Tull albums. There's two Jethro Tull albums on there. Um, there's four Beatles albums almost. We've done Revolver, Sgt. Pepper, and Out Abbey Road in Full. Then the first side of Please Please Me. And then Helter Skelter. A bunch of other random songs that got blocked on YouTube as well. They're on there. So we've got a, a huge collection of bonus content. So we'd love to have you on there. Our community's great. And uh, you're invited. I think that's it. Out of me, guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. If you're watching on Sunday or Tuesday, whatever day it is, I don't fucking care. Have a good day. All right? I told you so, so you better do it. Or I'm going to come find you.